Hey guys, so today I'm going to be trying out this Nivea for Men Post Shave Balm. It's supposed to work great as a primer. Um, I first heard about it on Nikki Tutorials and before that I'd never heard of it um, being used as a primer. But then I looked on YouTube and apparently a bunch of people have tried it. But I'm going to try it for myself because it's supposed to keep your makeup from breaking up throughout the day. And that's a huge problem for me because I have extremely oily skin. Like extremely oily skin. So we're going to see if it works. I picked this up last night at Walmart. It was just shy of six dollars so if it works it's really good for the price. <clears throat> so we will jump right in. It doesn't smell as manly as I thought it was going to. But you're supposed to, I guess, massage it into your skin until it gets tacky. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to feel like, but I guess we'll see. Okay, yeah, I guess that's what they mean by tacky. It's definitely harder to um, massage. Okay. So now that I have that on, I will go in with my foundation. I'm going to be using the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation. I just got this a few days ago at Ulta. Um, so far, I really like it. But uh, this is the darkest color that they have at the store. This is medium tan honey, so if you are any darker than me, then you'll have to get it online. Anyways, I'm going to apply this with a damp Real Techniques sponge. And um, I almost like this better than my Beauty Blender, surprisingly. So now that I have my foundation on, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I will be back. I'm finished with my makeup. I did everything like I normally would. I didn't use any new products or do anything differently. So we'll see. So far it's okay. Um, my pores are definitely larger. Um, they could probably house a family of four inside them. But other than that, it's okay. I mean, my makeup went on fine. So... We'll see. I'll check back in a few hours. It's 9 o'clock right now, so I'll probably check in around noon. So it is now 12.30, and I am a little shiny. Just a hair. But um, in the product's defense, I did not use any of my usual mattifying or poor blurring products this morning for... I started so I moisturized like I don't know maybe 20 minutes before I started so there wasn't no, like nothing on my skin it had already soaked in and you know whatever so I just went straight in with the um, aftershave balm and went right on my foundation but as far as the product breaking up I don't see anything so I'm pretty impressed I mean my pores are still Still pretty big but I mean they're big anyways even when I use my like the professional primer I mean it's not it's not a huge deal but um, the main thing I cared about was you know whether or not my makeup broke up or not and it hasn't so I'm going to cheat a little 
And I'm going to take just a tiny bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder and just de shine. I mean, it's really not bad compared to how it usually is. I usually have like a, a swimming pool on either side of my nose. So, I mean, it's really not that bad, and especially because I didn't use all my mattifying stuff this morning. But I will check in in another couple hours and let you guys know. It's now basically just shy of five o'clock and um, I don't see anything breaking up. I am still pretty oily. Um, that's not unusual and plus the Tarte foundation that I used this morning um, it's not really mattifying, so I'm anxious to see if I use a different foundation, if it would have any um, different effects, but um, nothing's broken up, and I'm really pleasantly surprised because the bottom half of my face tends to, like, I don't know, it really melts off, so um, it's still, it's still all there, so I'm pretty pleased. Um, my pores are still super huge. I mean, I wasn't expecting them to get smaller since the last update, but um, I think I may keep using this product if I can tweak it a little bit and work in some sort of pore blurring product, but um, I just wanted to try it alone today just to see what it would do. So for now, I'm going to give it a thumbs up and... Um, if I tweak it and find something that works, then I will let you guys know and I will post an update or something. So I also wanted to add, um, I thought it would be important to let you know that I was outside today. I mean, I wasn't like sweating or doing any strenuous activity, but it is like a thousand degrees outside. Okay, not really, but it's 95 degrees outside and it's hotter than hell, but, um, I mean, it lasted through, so that's a another good, good positive thing about it. So, I hope you guys liked this video, and I'll see you next time.